What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a mail day and that consists of this right here, which is crazy. This is my most expensive card purchase ever. Um, we also have some mail from a sub as well as a review of an eBay uh, hot pack or repack, you can call it. Um, with this card here, which I'll unbox last, this stuff was crazy, man. I was on eBay, I saw an auction, I said, maybe I can win it and I want it. So it was very expensive. It's not even close to my second highest purchase um, I've ever made for a single, but this one was crazy, crazy money, but a card that I love a lot, one that I really wanted to have, and I'm happy I have. So we're going to put this right here and do this one last. We'll get into this from the sub first, and then um, we'll get into this repack. In the back, we got some Bagley action, 10, and Luca 9, the Ruby Red Wave. I pulled that one from the boom box. Um, sad it's a 9. I actually thought it would get 10, but, you know, Sometimes it doesn't go your way, but still a nice card, and that Bagley is awesome. I love those Pulsars. Pulsar is one of my favorite parallels. Um, but anyway, let's get into this first. I don't want to show any of the addresses, so I'm going to kind of take it off right here. Um, got a few cards. I'm pretty sure I know what most of these are, but there we go. Get this out of here. Just in general, I know that when I send people cards, I prefer the address not be shown, and usually most people are the same way, so a little note. You are the man. Thanks. Thank you, man. You are the man. Then we got some nice stuff in here. So let me cut this open. And I am, uh, this card is just, it's, it's nuts. It actually came in a really big box. So that was inside another, like, um, big bag. And the box was, like, bigger than my whole desk. So I had to take it out first. And it's still in here. All right. Oh, and there's more tape. While you're waiting, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified every time I post. I have a lot of stuff coming. And um, also, as far as maybe giveaways go, I do have a giveaway that's live with a bird call 23M. The um, video I made maybe about a week or so ago, it was a mail day. You can see on the thumbnail, you can't miss it. I have a giveaway going on that ends at the end of this month. So if you haven't already, go check that video out and read the description. All right, let's see what we got here. A lot of tape, but I think I got it, so. All right, let me get this out of here. Get that scotch tape off there. Cool. So we got a bowl bowl. Nice little Kobe White from Hoops. I actually like Hoops a lot, for those of you who don't know. Um, Hoops is sweet. It's the first ones in their actual uniform, so that's why I love it so much. And the parallels of these base rookies are awesome. Um, it's Kobe and then a hero. I believe these are stickers and a hunter and then a jaw. I usually don't accept too much stuff, but um, if you really want to send some things, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And yeah, so, hey, you know who you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And let me clear off my desk because now we're going to review this product here. All right, so this is, while I get it open, I'm going to go into the details of it. Um, this is the eBay basketball repack. There's 30 total packs in this and um, 15 cards per pack. So three hits, five rookie cards, and then seven base. And that base is from stuff like uh, Prism, Optic, Court Kings, Grand Reserve, Cornerstones, um, and usually the better players. The, the Lu Luka, Zion, you know, guys like Tatum, Ja, Trey, those are the guys, the rookies. Rookies you want to chase in here? I think I need to cut this a little more. But um, I think the highlight cards would be the Luka GMA-10 Upper Deck Rookie, uh, Zion Optic, and Jaw Prism. There we go. The link will be in the description for this if you want to check it out. And empty package, cool. So yeah, let's see what we can get in here. Pretty straightforward. Um, Nothing really confusing about it at all, which I like. Just three hits, five rookies, seven days. So let's see what we can get. And since there's three chase cards, and there's some solid stuff too, like I saw RJ. I think I saw some KD action, um, some other good guys. Shea Gilgis Alexander. So you have a decent chance at some of those tough guys. And it's a nice, this takes me back. If I pick number 22, there's his eBay. Gordon underscore sports cards. Good luck. I chose 22, my favorite number. This throws me back to when I was in uh, middle school, high school. 
these lunch bags. <laughs> Love them. All right, let's see what we got. And apologies if that's very loud, the crinkling of the package. All right. So we'll just leave this here. Base and rookies. So we have some tray green dominance. That's nice. Miss Pac-Man likes Mr. Trey, and that is 1920. All right. Bradley Beal from Grand Reserve. I always like the Grand Reserve base cards. They're nice. Very nice design. Nice border, a little bit of texture. Looks good. Bradley Beal is also a, a baller. Blake Griffin portraits. I'm not too sure what the Pistons are doing right now. They're kind of in limbo. Vince Carter. If he played his last game, that will be a shame, but... What a career. And Russell Westbrook, Brandon Ingram, purple. That looks so good with those Lakers colors, although he's now a Pelican. Road to the finals, Jalen Brown. Got Jackson Hayes, school colors. Shea Gilch, Alexander, prison rookie. RJ Barrett, uh, John Morant, base. And a Jordan Poole, orange. So rookies were solid. We got um, Hayes. Got Shea, an RJ, and then a uh, Don Russ, um, John Morant. Now there's still a huge, awesome prism one in the product, and Jordan Poole. Cool, I'll take those. Definitely nice. One shame, since Shea Al uh, Gilgis Alexander is a good player, his rookie card is missing the rookie card logo. See the Bagley, see the Luca. They had that rookie card in the top left. Um, Shea's actually is missing that for this year, which is his rookie year. And uh, guys like Josh Hart and um, Milos. Tia Dosich, I think. They actually have it, even though they're not rookies. And also, all of his were very off-center, so they're all like this. But he's a good player and makes that class even better. So now we have our hits. Right off the bat, I see Mr. Ball. I think I might collect Lamelo next year. I like Lamelo, And the Grizzlies don't have a first-rounder, so... Um, Lamello, oh, not Lamelo. Lonzo Ball. Player worn material. And that's his rookie jersey, so that's pretty cool, from Cornerstones. Lonzo, Lonzo's good. I mean, with Zion, with Ingram, with all those guys there, it may be tough for him to put up gaudy numbers, except for assists, but still, he's a good player. Then we got some Brandon Clark from Draft Picks, just the base autograph for the Grizzlies. That's nice. Go Grizz. And we got some Wendell Carter Jr. Oh, Prism Auto. Nice. Just the base Prism, but still nice. And this was, uh, if I forgot to say it, 25 dollars of course so overall what do you guys think Wendell got a Clark got Alonzo uh, both all three of the big you know uh, chase cards are still out there so uh, Shea RJ Ja uh, Poole Hayes and I still like these Donruss ones obviously optic is the is the nicer version but I still have appreciation for those Donruss ones um, you know Jalen Ingram so it's nice Trey and Beal overall some solid stuff and I Definitely like these two right here. One for the PC, and Wendell Carter is a good young player. So, if you are interested in getting one for yourself, the link will be in the description down below. Um, really nice stuff. So, thank you. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, man. I'm nervous. Let me know what you guys think about this purchase. Am I, uh, am I officially crazy? I don't know. So, this... This is a, a huge card. And we're gonna see this thing together. I'm gonna slowly bring it out. I'm gonna flip it like this because this is the back and ready. Here we go. Woo. Luka Doncic, 28 of 42. Just like the bag leads to the pink pulsar. I always put some hint as to the video in the back. Um, well, not always, but most of the time. So Luka Doncic, Pink Pulsar, and there you go. Luka Doncic, woo. These are from those retail 24 count boxes. Um, it is a PSA 9. In the listing, I had an idea of why it was like that. So, you know, I still paid a price. If this was PSA 10, it would have been way out of my range, but it's a nice card. I love the Pulsars, so I said, you know what? For my collection, I might, I might as well. Um, the top centering. Looks decent, looks pretty good. It's right here, it's kind of tough to tell because of the Pulsar design, but it's a little um, centered 
a little off-centered right here. So the border here is a little thicker and it's a little thinner here. But still nice. And then the corners look good. And then the only other issue with this card, which is one reason why I believe it got the nine, is the edges on the left right here. And it's going to be tough to see. Might be really tough to see. See right there, right here? Edge is a little bit rough, but really not a huge deal to me. You can see a little bit of white peeking through there. Um, but, I mean, it's still such a sweet card. I still probably want to get one or two. Meh, I'm going to say one, not two. One more Luca numbered card, probably a, a hobby color version. So like a purple, a blue ice, something like that, or blue. Um, but yeah, really nice stuff. And yeah, boxes have some good stuff. I wish I pulled this. I actually have a few single packs of this left, but it's a sweet, sweet card. Um, now you can see what I paid for this on eBay. I paid roughly 2,800, no 28, maybe 38, I think it was. Don't quote me exactly. It's right around that number. Um, Pre-tax, and of course there's tax. Brought up to like a low 3,000. So paid a lot of money for this card, but it's Luka Doncic. This guy is the future of the NBA. Now he's got to start winning. But um, yeah, very expensive card. I've been chasing a lot of uh, top rookie stuff, basketball, of course, and had to get this one. And now that I've gone over this card, which is awesome, a few little things. If you have a very big basketball card, um, hit me up because I'm trying to trade. And of course, if not if you have one, but if you're willing to trade, um, I have some mid-tier to like high-end tier. Like for example, that Bagley, I have um, like some Tatum cards, stuff like that, that I really badly want to trade for one big card. So if you have something like that, definitely um, hit me up because I'm looking for like a really expensive card, like something around this tier. Um, but not, not necessarily like three grand worth, but anything over several hundred, maybe. I don't know. Been looking to do some deals, especially since there's less boxes to rip during quarantine. But really nice stuff. Let me know. How did I do? Did I get hosed? Did I d do a good deal? I think I, I got a, a fair price. I looked at comps and I paid the price that was uh, pretty comfortable paying. So solid stuff overall. And that'll pretty much do it. Um, another thing I wanted to say is I actually do have some boxes and I was... Uh, I wanted to do some group breaks with you guys. I can't do too many, maybe one, maybe two. My flexibility with this is kind of limited because it's so hard to get boxes and they're so expensive since all the print uh, printing presses and stuff like that, factories are uh, closed for now. But I have some boxes. I probably will have some like Mosaic, some Absolute, some Origin, stuff like that, some basketball. And maybe we can do some group breaks. Check out my Instagram if you haven't already. That's where I'll do a lot of the stuff regarding there. So if you're interested in that, the spots I hopefully won't be anywhere over 100 they'll be random teams and once again these boxes cost a lot so yeah we'll see stay tuned for information regarding that and let me know if you'll be interested so wasted enough of your time thanks for watching huge huge card man I love me some Luka Doncic I wish I pulled one when I ripped all that prism but I don't know maybe next year I'll pull a nice lamello who knows uh, that'll do it for this video stay tuned for tons of more content and really nice stuff glad to have this um, I think I'll have some for those of you asking, Optic Retail vs. Hobby will be coming soon, um, round three. It'll just be for fun. Hobby did win, but you guys asked for it. I will do it, so um, stay tuned for that one. And uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.